two-sided coin. One is that you want the Muslim American community to identify anything that might be harmful to our country and to themselves. And two, of, uh, uh, that you want to protect them, too, because they're the eyes and ears. If people are causing them trouble, you want to be notified about that also. Exactly. A two-sided coin. Let's go to a break. We'll be back with our guests right after this message. Does that make sense? A two-sided right. coin? Exactly. Makes sense. I'm all in. <laughs> I like that. Winner, hey on. Good job. You stole it. How can a future architect use this broken ruler? How can a future musician use this guitar? Or an artist make the sun shine without colored crayons? When you visit DonorsChoose.org, you choose what items you want to give. Whether it's rulers, guitars, crayons, or books, your donation allows kids to realize their dreams. Help level the playing field. This is Morgan Freeman. DonorsChoose.org gives you the power to turn kids into students, one classroom at a time. Welcome back, everybody. My guest here on the set is Sheriff Lee Baca is with us by phone. Welcome back, Sheriff. Uh, thank you, Ray. Let's talk about the London experience. And I know both of you gentlemen, I did the pre-interview with you over the phone. You gave me some real good information. I want you to tell the public what you told me. The difference between what took place in France and what took place in London, as opposed, in contrast, to the Muslim Americans living in this country. Um, uh, why don't you go ahead? Sure. Thank you. Well, I think it's important to, to draw the parallel and see where the differences are. And, and the differences are, one, in Europe in specific, most countries there are nation states. So when we talk about France, it's mainly a specific nationality of French people. They, they look the same, they speak the same, they eat the same, with a long history and heritage of one culture. And the same thing applies to Germany and, and all other countries. So it, was, it had been very difficult for new immigrant communities to assimilate or integrate or be accepted as immigrant communities in Europe. They've, they've been marginalized, they've, they've, they were forced to live in ghettos. We don't have that in America, in, in contrast. In America, we are a nation of immigrants, and we are welcoming to people, and we're very fortunate and lucky to be in L.A., in Southern California, where you can walk by on any street and see people who look different, speak different, we enjoy different food and appreciate each other and actually respect each other. At large, you know, there are always exceptions. Right. So Muslims in America who came as immigrants, and not all Muslims in America are immigrants. There are many who are indigenous uh, to, to, this this, country. to this country. But those at least who were immigrants and came here felt welcome, and there were no barriers for them socially or economically. Muslims became successful doctors, professors, engineers, CEOs, entrepreneurs, and many other fields. They were accepted as many other immigrants in this country. It's, it's, an, it's an open... Uh, opportunity for everyone to take. And also they went to the armed services too. Uh, over 10,000 people serve in the armed service as we speak today. So Muslims do not feel a disconnect between uh, their religion and their country. There is no conflict whatsoever in being Muslim and American. They're proud of being both like Jewish Americans are and like Catholic Americans are and Latino Americans and Asian Americans and so on and so forth. And what we're trying to do is to make sure that that continues for Muslims and that how we can keep the connection, keep the, the integration process through dialogue, involvement, participation uh, of the Muslim community in the civic affairs of their country. Shaquille, I want to get to you. Go ahead. Shaquille, I, 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 I definitely would like to add that the, the relationship... Do you agree with the parallels that he was talking yes, about? Yes, yes. I would okay, add so. something more to it, Go which ahead. is a very basic difference between the Muslim community in North America and Muslim community in Europe, particularly in the United Kingdom. The Muslims were brought in the United Kingdom by the colonizers of the colonized people. Unlike in North America where people have chosen to come here to make this as their new home. So the sense of belonging and loyalty with this land is much, much higher than the other experience. And the people who, who you live next door to look at you in similar ways too. In that's many cases, correct. Except that's for the correct. marginalized folks that's, who, that's who, who don't believe in immigration at all. That's correct. And also, one major difference between the United Kingdom model and paradigm versus here, and my hat's off to Sheriff Baka for taking this lead in initiating this dialogue. I wish that what Sheriff is talking, our federal government begins to talk on these lines. 
the way Sheriff is thinking about it. How can we have a reciprocal relationship as an equal partner rather than otherwise? That did not happen in the United Kingdom. Mm -hmm. People are still marginalized majority of the Muslim population. And also in France, too. Or in France, or in most of Europe, in France. Well, let's talk, Sheriff, I know you sent some folks up to London, and uh, perhaps even France, because I, re- I had one of your sheriffs on the program, and I remember him telling me that some folks are going to go to London. Right. Uh, what was the purpose? Well, to learn the experience there that uh, Ian Blair, the commissioner of police, and the prime minister, Tony Blair, and all the people involved. Uh, let me say this. Uh, when we learned what occurred there, uh, and I went as well with Chief Bratton, uh, we found out that there are many things uh, that we can do here in the United States to prevent a homegrown form of terrorism. Uh, one of the things that the Homeland Security Congress, the Muslim American Homeland Security Congress has uh, in its charter is to educate. It's an educational institution primarily more than anything else.